Good morning on this very, very cold morning on the Hollyhead Docks. Um, it's about half past five, high water's about half past six. Just come down to the dock, the wind is coming from right to left as you're looking at the rods, howling in again, pretty strong. Um, and I'm fishing on the end of dock back, uh, working just around the corner, two minutes away. Got about an hour and a half, two hours till I start, so I'm gonna have an hour, an hour and a half fishing. Grab a McDonald's as standard and um, give it a go. This couldn't be any different from last time I fished it. Last time I fished here, I fished it on low water and it was fairly calm. Now this is high water, totally different winds and it's not long after the storm and there's bits of crap blowing all over the banks. Um, just fishing for a fish, not aiming for anything in particular. Just want to fish, it could be anything. Got a selection of baits to put out, got some mackerel, some worms, some vampire squid <laughs> and some other bits. Uh, let's take you over to the rods in a minute and show you. But yeah, what a lovely place, but it's uh, it's definitely a lot colder than last time I was here. But hopefully that shouldn't put the fish off. I've still got to eat. And if anything, I eat more in the winter. Comfort food, warm, unhealthy food. <laughs> but yeah, it's just beautiful out here. Have a look at this. Just love the docks. Something about the docks. You can just drive here from your car. Just an amazing place, isn't it? On the docks. On the docks again. Easy fishing, comfortable fishing, and normally always produces a couple of fish. So I'll show you what's going on with these rods now. I've got, uh, actually, why am I telling you? I'll show you, come and have a look. On the left rod, we have, it's like a pulley panel with a shorter snood on a circle hook and a piece of mackerel. Now, if we come round here and have a look at the right rod, we have a two up flapper, that one has got a little bit of vampire squid on, and this one has got a bit of ragworm, all from Bluefin Tackle Shop in Triada Bay. Go and check it out. My night lights are still glowing from last night, so that is absolutely perfect. So I'm going to get these rods in, and I'm going to see if we can get a bite or two. Hopefully we can. Just don't want to blank. Yeah, I just don't want to blank, so uh, let's get this camera on the pod for you, see if we can make something happen. I think we're going to get some bites here. That's my uh, assumption. See you in a bit. All right, let's get to it then. Let's get to it. The left rod is going to be the half of Macarena. That's quite a big tie. I didn't think it was that big. It's not, not seen it quite this high for a while here. Yeah? That's good. Or is it good? We'll see. Wallop. There goes the big piece of Macarena. Don't know what the wind pull's gonna be like. You don't normally get much tide pull here. When the wind's coming through, it can affect it. Probably fishing in about, I'd say I can't be far off fishing in sort of like 30, 40 foot of water, if not more. Just tighten that up. Got to keep an eye out for boats while you're fishing out there. So I don't want to snag them and they definitely don't want to snag me. Sometimes you just got to keep your eye on the water at all times, actually. You should always keep your eye on the water. Never turn your back to the sea, that's what they say. Oh, I can feel the wind cutting in. It's cutting in big time. I'm gonna send that one out there. Let's see how we can tighten up into these, because you're fishing in quite deep water. Sometimes it's hard to tighten up. Uh, if you fished in deep water like this, you'll totally understand what I mean. Now, let's see if we can get a bit of a bend in the rod so they're tight. I've got six ounce grippers on, but uh. Whoa. Well, I had a bite then, it was just me reeling in. Me giving myself false bites again. <laughs> and there you go. And now. I'm gonna sit in the car with the heating on. <laughs> I'll come out every 10 minutes to change the baits. So you keep your eye on them. I just had my first bite about 15 minutes in on the right rod. Quite a clear pull down like that once and then twice. Which is a good sign, so I was starting to think it's been it's been about 15 minutes and nothing. I was like high tired, fresh baits. You know, night time, I'd be expecting a, a bit more action than that, but I did just have a pull down, so there's something to go. Oh, there's a bite on the left one now, that's got that big mackerel on. Okay. 
it's switched on all of a sudden. Uh, as I say, you do get a lot of lobsters around here. You don't get so many crabs, you know. But I must have caught, accidentally from here, about, over the years, probably, it's got to be seven or eight lobsters. Um, it's just full of lobsters, and I've had them tangled up, I've had them hooked, I've had, them, I've had all sorts. Yeah, I've definitely had my fair share of lobsters from here. Hmm, I'll tell you what, it's lovely and warm in that cart. <laughs> I don't always do lazy fishing though. No, I don't always. It's uh it just suits this morning. You know, I've got a cheeky hour. My rods were set up from fishing the breakwater last night. I had a bit of bait, so I put the rods in the car set up. I was like, you know what, all I've got to do is drive here in the morning and within 30 seconds of being here I was fishing. And I'm just gonna put the rods back in the car set up. And who knows? Maybe after work today I'll just drive somewhere else and fish from the car. Ten all about uh it's ten all about effort, is it? Effort is good, but sometimes it's about just being a lazy get and chucking a rod in. <laughs> but yeah, them bites seem to have um gone. That's the only way to put it. Well, I'll give them five minutes and I'll have a check so they've both had action. Let's give them another four or five minutes and I'll check the baits and show you what's going on. Come on. Right, back in the warmth for me. <laughs> I think we might have something small on this left rod, so I'm going to check it. It's not really a definite bite, but there's little, just little tweaks. Oh, the left, the left rod's going now. I was on about, yeah, they're both bouncing. <laughs> but there's nothing, yeah, that's a bite. I think there could be something small on here. We will see. It's definitely been action on both, but nothing to really get excited about as such. It's just little, uh, little bits. Little bits having a little peck. Oh, that went in my hand then, but I don't think it's on. Oh, is it something then on the way in? I think it could have been a snag or something. Don't think there's anything on here anyway. If there is, it's tiny. <laughs> well, bites have been sort of stripped. Bit of the squid's well, a lot of the squid's gone, and a bit of the worm's gone. Probably little uh, little peckers. Right, let's have a quick look at that other bait. While you're there, see what's going on with this. It has having pecks and bangs and all sorts, but I've got a feeling these are the lobsters, which I was on about. If there's any of that mackerel left at all. It's always good when you've had your first cast, because you can um, have a look at your baits and get an idea. Now I know them. there's little fish pecking at them, worms and squid. So that's giving me an idea of what's out there. Uh, judging what's left, if anything's left of this or what marks are on it, it'll give me a little bit of uh, insight as to what's going on. And I can see what's going on. Guessing the lobsters are pecking at it. There's not much of it left. Still good for a bite though. Bit of mackerel head, but because I've got a bit of bait that needs using, I'm going to get rid of that and whip something new on and get them back out. Could be staring a blank in the face here. I fished for about another 45 minutes. Only a quick session before work. I just want to try and get a bite. See what's out there, because you just never know, dear. You could spend two weeks fishing, walking miles, fishing all over the country and struggle, but you could just have that one lucky chuck here and just catch something different, couldn't you? And that's, that is the beauty of fishing. It doesn't matter how long you fish for or where you go or what you do. You're only ever one bite away from something like, you know, of a monster proportion. <laughs> um, you just never know, dear, it's exciting. So let's get these baits on and get it back in, because to be honest, I'm getting hungry myself now. It's only a matter of time before I start eating the bait. <laughs> that's a bite. Oh, that's got to be a fish. It's gone now, though. <laughs> Giving you a quick peck and gone. Come on, mate. If 
fish on. Oh no! The was No! No, 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 no! No! Oh, there's definitely something on, then it felt a bit bigger than a peck or two. No! Oh well, you can't win them all, can you? Get some bite back out and go again. That definitely felt bigger than a peck, and there's a bit of white to it. Probably a dog or something. Uh, damn! Right, let's get it back out. Bit of action on the right one. Definite bit of action on the right one then. Not easy this morning, you know. I've just lost something. It didn't feel massive, but it did a couple of lunges on the way in. It's like it was coming in, then it said no. Rum. <laughs> then it was coming in, it went no. Rum. Then it come off, but uh, definitely something on. I guess it was a dog, if I had to guess. Just want a fish. Of any size, of any fish. Any fish will do. Oh, here we go, on the right one, here we go. Here we go. I don't want to eager beaver them, though, because they seem to be small, small fish. Should have probably put a little set of something else down and had a little play around, shouldn't I, really? They are quite big worm baits with bigger hooks. It's not your, your tiny hooks with tiny worms. Still something there though. Having to mess around. Definitely still something there. Nothing defiant, is there like a big whack, but there's little little things happening. <laughs> little things. I think there could be something on there. Could it be a peck up? Ooh, what's going on? I think there's a pecker on there. A little baby pecker, that's what I'd say. Let's have a look, ain't we? Have to investigate. Yeah, I can feel it. I can feel it for the braid. I think there's one on here. Oh, not actually. <laughs> not sure if there is. It's small. It's hard to tell on these big rods when you've got little, like, white inviting. White inviting. Don't think there is, you know. Nope. The worms aren't even that bad. These must be, like, little tiny, tiny fish these had. Not ideal. Not ideal at all. Well, I'm going to crack on for another half hour or so. You might be seeing a blank here. Don't matter if it's a blank, does it? You might be seeing a blank. And it, as I say in every video, you will see it as it happens. Um, not ideal. Right, let's get some bait back on. Go again. Here we go. It's only just gone in. It's only just hit the water, that has. And then nothing. A nice whack and then nothing. Yes, fish on. About time. But what is it? What is it? What could it be? It's a good little bite, to be fair. It is. Doesn't feel massive. It's uh <laughs> you can all guess what it is, can't we? It's a pecker. It's a little pecker. But a pecker's a pecker, isn't it? Let's get him unhooked. And that 
is that worth getting up at four o'clock being out in the cold for that little pecker i'm gonna say yeah because what else would i have been doing snoring <laughs> let's get him back lovely all right i wouldn't mind if that uh bigger fish rod went off soon i don't think anybody would mind if the big fish rod went off would they i'm gonna get it back out I have another 15 20 minutes and i'm gonna go and get a nice warm drink and some food um but a pecker a day keeps the blank away doesn't it Pecker a day keeps the blank away. Right, let's get them rods back out. Just never know what's going to turn up, dear. Right, folks, these are going to be my last two casts. Got some vampire squid to use up. And it done the job yesterday, the vampire squid. It got most bites of most fish. So I've got two big ones there on that circle lock, which is going to go out now. And I'm going to send both these down to the right. Don't know why, I just fancy going down to the right. I'm going to send this down here. Just by the side of that boy, not too close, because obviously there's going to be a rope on it somewhere. <clears throat> and they both come off. <laughs> both them vampire squids just come off. I didn't wrap them on, I'll wrap one on. What an absolute sausage. <laughs> seen, them, seen them both go flying through the air. Good job I got one left, innit? For God's sake. Right, let's wrap one on and go again. I'll be back in a minute. Take two. The vampire squid is now wrapped on and he's not going to be coming off. <laughs> I thought it would have stayed there for a gentle lob, but uh, it come off. Lesson learned. Use, use your bait elastic. Plop. I'm going to put the other rod even more to the right of that one. I just fancy fishing down there for these last casts. Just using up now the last of the vampire squid. I'm gonna have like in these rods probably 10 or 15 minutes, something like that. I'll show you what's on this one now. We've got on the little rock at the top, we've got vampire squid tentacles, you could call them. Then a little vampire squid on that one. So we're all out vamping it. Vamp, vamp. I'm going to send this one right down there. It's fancy being down there. I don't know why. Actually, no, I don't. I want to put this one there. I want to put this up, this one up just to the side of it that way. Just to the other side of the boy. Change my mind again, as always. Can't feel my fingers, you know. Cannot feel my fingers. Feeny fingers, fingers, fingers. Literally give these rods 10 minutes and I'm out of here. It was just a quick morning session. Just to see. Just to see what's going on. I might be back here in the morning. Might be somewhere else later, who knows. Quick morning session never hurts, does it? Right, I'll give them 10 minutes. That's all they're having, 10 minutes. So let's keep our eyes on them and I'll bring you back if uh, anything happens. Well, that's going to be it for me. It's time for some breakfast. I'm hungry. It was just the one solo pecker. Uh, but it's not a blank, is it? Uh, get back on the cod soon on the menai. As I said in the last video on the breakwater, I haven't um, been on the menai for a while with that storm and all the weed pushing through and all the fresh water and all that crap. But there's a bit of dry weather for a few days now, so I reckon another day or two, I'll get back on them big crab and squid and mussel baits on the menai. Uh, get on them rocks to put a bit of put a bit of effort into the next one. Do the walking, climbing on the rocks. You know what I mean. Finding them spots. I've got a good idea where they are and where they're coming from, and where I've had a couple from. Um, so I'm going to get down there and put some time in. So I reckon the menai could do some bigger cod soon. I do. There's definitely a few about. Um, and I know the Conway Estuary is doing a few, and obviously Liverpool, Otters Ball, the Mersey, down south, everywhere, the east coast, they're all doing them, aren't they? I want to go put a bit of time into the Menai Straits for them, I do. Fancy a live bait whiting on there. But anyway, I'm going to get these rods in, that's me done, I'm going to go and get... God, the only thing open is McDonald's, I'm sick of McDonald's, when you're up and out before all the calves open. It's sort of McDonald's or the service station, and none are really that good, are they? Wouldn't want like a proper good calf. Something decent instead of wafer thin bacon on a tiny little bath. <laughs> but 
But yeah, I'm going to get these rods in now, so I'm going to knock this camera off. And uh, until next time, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.